Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Stelling and these videos are brought to you by the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. If you are interested in receiving our newsletter or becoming a member of our association, please go to naods.com. I hope you enjoy the video. In this segment we're going to be talking about type and typography. So let's go ahead and open up a file. How about the file with has the text already involved so that you can actually see what the final result is going to look like. Right now uh, I did this in Adobe Photoshop of course and I had several layers but I went ahead and flattened it and I'll tell you a little bit more about what flattening means in upcoming segments. But notice here I've got some text and typography. The text uh, is vertical and some of it is horizontal. Some of it has been rotated. Some of it's very small. Some of it's very large. So if you'll notice, if I zoom in, once this is printed, you will be able to see this text. But since we are at 25 or 26 percent, which is located down here, you won't be able to read this. But once it's printed, you will be able to read this. So don't worry about the small text just yet. So I'm going to take a copy of the same file minus the text. It's a little bit more compressed and it does not have any layers as of now. Let's go ahead and bring in the text tool which is called the horizontal type tool. You'll also notice there's various other tools underneath that text tool. If you click and hold, you'll see the various options. We are going to be working mainly with the horizontal type tool. So make sure you have that one selected. Next thing we're going to notice is the color of the text. Now if I were to click one time out on my board, and if I start typing, you'll notice that it's very, very small. If I wanted to go in there and make this larger or change the font color or condense it or extend it, I'll need to do a few different things to, in order for that to happen. The tool that I like to use the most is the transform, the free transform tool. And if you go to edit, transform. You'll notice you have the scale, rotate, skew, but I like to use the free transform tool. This will give me handles where I can go in and click and drag and make it as large or as small as I want it to be by just clicking on those little handles. Now notice I didn't make any sense with the text that I had written here, but that's just so that I can see it visually and now I can go back in, I hit the enter key, I can go back into my text tool and it's kind of tricky here, you have to click and highlight, might take you a few times to get that and now I can go ahead and type in the word that I need. I'm going to be doing March snow, snow is going to be rotated and let's go ahead and choose a different font, I don't quite like this font so I'm going to go and click on my text tool again You'll notice that you have all your fonts listed above. If you click on the arrow that points down right next to the font name, you'll have all kinds of options. Now this is kind of the quick, the slow way of creating and selecting a font. So I'm happy with this font choice. I want to rotate this. So I'm going to go into Free Transform again. So I go to Edit, Free Transform. I'm going to hold down my shift key. When I go to the corner, when it turns into the double arrow, you'll notice the double, double arrow there, hold down my shift key and I rotate it. Holding down the shift key will constrain it from 45 to 90 to 180 and so on and so forth. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to alter the shape. I'm going to just have it fit right in here. Once I have the size that I need it to be, hit the Enter key. I don't like the color of my text, 
So I'm going to make sure I'm on that layer. You should have a new layer. I'm going to highlight and I'm going to choose a different color now. I'm going to go with, I'm going to click on this top foreground color, go into my color picker. I can click anywhere, any color here. Click, maybe go to the white, click OK. It will turn out to be like a black color or whatever, but if you click away from it, it will go ahead and take that color and adhere it to that text. Okay, next I want to go ahead and put March at the top there. So I'm going to click, and I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here. Click one time, M-A-R-C-H. Unfortunately, it's way too small. So I'm going to triple click on it and go with 60 or maybe even larger. In order to move my text, I have to go get my Move tool. Get the Move tool and move it into place. Now if you're not getting a hang of the text tool just yet, don't worry about it. We're just kind of covering it quickly. Once we create our own scrapbook page from scratch, I will be going over the text tool step by step. Another thing that we wanted to have over here is the 2006, so I'm going to go get my text tool. I'm going to click one time. I'm going to type 2007 or 2006, whatever year it was. Come over here, and I want to rotate that, so I'm going to go back to my Edit, Free Transform, go to get my double arrows when I hover over it, hold down the Shift key to constrain hit the enter key once I have it in place then I have my move tool and I'm gonna move it wherever I need to now a cool thing about this is you can use your arrow keys to kind of nudge it into place The last but not least is kinda of like the little body of the text gives you a little story So I'm gonna go get my text tool I want to use let's just try something let's just go with um, something simple here maybe I want to if I want to go with bold I can go with bold or regular narrow Let's just stick with regular size I'm gonna keep it at 60 and now I'm gonna go back to my area here click and drag got my little blinking cursor and this is where the body content will go. And then I'm just kind of greeking here. I'm just going to keep going. And notice that the letting, which is the lines between each line of text, is very, very tight. We don't want it to be that tight. So what I will do is I will make sure that I just highlight all of that, just like you would in Word or any other program. And I go up to my window and get my character box. and now I can change the letting which is located on the right hand side of this here's my character box here I'm going to increase that to at least 72 if I want it to be even higher than that I can just click on this area here and just push it over to the right or you can highlight this and just type it in by hitting the enter key there So that is adding text. Again, we're going to cover this in greater detail once we go in to create a scrapbook page from scratch.